Um, yeah, so, and that is, the meetings happened at 10 o'clock in the morning and at 5 p.m. in the evening. And we, anyone here or anywhere is really welcome to come and join that meeting. And the ideal is that people come and they get acquainted with the process that we've developed so they can actually do the facilitating and they can actually be doing that role so it's not the same people talking at the front or in the middle because that's not the aim and just to make that really clear. Um, and so the process group we met at uh, six um, and So I'm just going to introduce who everybody is. I'm Hannah, I'm the facilitator this evening. Um, and also there's a backup facilitator, Steve. Um, there is the agenda holder, time checker, parking lot, which is Julia over here. Um, so the parking lot is the things that come up that we think are really useful and important, but because of time pressures and process issues, we can't discuss right now. So um, if I, yeah, so she's got that sheet there. That's what she's doing there. Um, uh, the person doing the name taking and the cue making is um, Cyril and Hara, who are over there. So they'll be the people who, if you want to speak, you sp ask them, they'll put you on a list, and then um, that's how you sort of get to. So you put your hand up, and then you'll be funneled sort of through them. So that's done in a, a fair way as we can make it. Um, and also people who are on sort of general respect roles, which is basically if somebody needs to talk kind of outside of the process of the meeting and isn't really enjoying the process that we've got and needs to speak to someone. Um, we've got uh, Duet, Steve, John and Venus who are doing that. So that's just so everyone knows what you know what, what we're doing and how we got to where we are. Um, a quick summary as well of the hand, um, the hand movements that we've been doing. Sorry if you've heard this loads if you've been to every meeting, but for lots of people who have just turned up today or who um, haven't um, haven't seen the, the hand signals before. Um, we're going to do a little introduction so you know what everyone's doing when everyone starts doing this. So people who know, yeah, if people want to um, show by silent clapping how they agree and then people can learn what that, how that looks like. Shaky jazz hands as it's also known. <laughs> um, so the, the point of that is so people can show that they agree without having to say I agree so the flow of the meeting goes well um, and also so everyone in the in the meeting can get a sense visually of like if people are agreeing with something or if they're not so we can try and get a sense of like what we think collectively as a group um, and then uh, if you've got a point to raise um, it's you put your hand up um, if you uh, if you feel like it's going on a bit too long longer than the allocated time there's two actually people do this sometimes and they do this <laughs> so, um, does anyone else want to shout out another hand signal that we've got? No. Yes, that is brilliant. That, we've been using that to mean disagree. Um, so when we sort of check out how everyone's feeling about something that we're talking about, you can agree or you can disagree. Um, and there's also a block. Can we see blocks? <laughs> Which is a block is a really, really, really serious disagreement. So something that you think would jeopardise the very heart of the occupation and would completely contradict everything that we as a group stand for. You, so there's a sense that a block is something really, really strong that you only, you only do if you like really have to, in a way, whereas a disagreement is, is, is more... Oh. <laughs> a disagreement is, is more to show that you, that you disagree but you're still in the process, basically. Yes, the agenda, um, apart from what we've done already, is... Um, the first thing is, a little, uh, we're going to speak briefly about what's been happening at Dale Farm. Um, I'm not going to go into that now because I'm just explaining what we're going to do next. Dale Farm, then we're going to have feedback from the working groups, which is going to be limited to really, really small because the aim of this evening General Assembly is to, um, is, is to make sure that we have space to talk about like politically, why we're here, philosophically, what we want to do, so we don't get too bogged down in like site logistics, which is also a very important thing that we're doing. But the, the one o'clock meeting is supposed to be more logistical and this one is more thinking about our strategies and our tactics um, and uh, yeah so if you're in any of the working groups and you've got something to feed back um, then please come and make yourself known to Cyril and Cara over here and um, I think it's fine just to sort of come up around the back 
and just sort of sit here so you can wait because obviously we don't want people to get really cold and wait for too long so that's why we're going to be trying to make sure it happens as quickly as possible so yeah so people who are in working groups can start doing that now and start coming feeding around to that um, then okay the next thing that we're going to do is read out the initial statement this is I've actually got a request do you, is there, if anyone has like a, a smartphone or an iPad or something that they can actually access the um, the initial statement because our paper analog initial statement um, got blown apart by the wind so that's score one for digital on that point um, so if anyone's got that if they could just come to the back and let somebody know oh we've got it on here okay fantastic so forget that analog wins again yay <laughs> um, at some point yes definitely um, the uh, yeah and then so hopefully that won't take up too long and then we're going to move into the section of the evening where we talk um, about the reasons, the reasons why we're all here, what we're doing as a movement, that space that we, we, we want to make quite precious to pick where we can discuss amongst each other horizontally and work out what we, what we want to do, where we want to go. Last night, the theme of that was, um, it was what do we want and how do we get there? So it's quite, quite broad. Um, and tonight's theme is um, what are we that's as the occupation, which is people who are staying here, people who support us, people who come after work, people who can't come at all, it's quite wide. What are we as an occupation going to do this week? So this is a short term idea. This is like bearing in mind that we've got the weekend coming up, which is gonna be a very different mood in the city and probably people, quite a lot of people are gonna come down. So that's gonna be a slightly different energy. Um, and also what, you know, how are we gonna take, building on what we've done, how are we gonna take that forward? Um, so that's what that little section is for, um, and that's going to be small groups, and then we're going to hear feedback from each group, and then there's going to be a shout-outs and announcements section. Um, so if you've got a shout-out or an announcement, again, sorry to be like really time-focused, but if you can keep that really, really brief, that would be great, because I'm sure by that point everyone will be really cold. One week birthday party is the sort of thing that we can talk about in our small groups when we get to that stage. Thank you very much. Um, okay, cool. So, um, to start with, let's have a little word about Dale Farm from Jake. I'll just, I'll just keep this brief. Basically, there's a travellers community that live in Essex that are being evicted from their homes for ridiculous and spurious reasons. Um, they've done everything they can to, to object to this through court, um, but just as of was it yesterday, that's all um, that's been unsuccessful, and they are being evicted starting tomorrow. The, the, the residents of Dell Farm that are being evicted from their homes are, have done a call out for people to come and help. Be there. If enough people come, there's a strong enough presence they can postpone or even stop this eviction. There is enough support shown, enough physical stopping of the bailiffs coming in through their doors. Um, so, they've offered to send a mini bus down here tonight to bring people there. You can stay the night and in the morning there'll be a briefing of the situation, how you can help and what you can do. Um, and so if there are people that would get in that mini bus and go and stay on Dale Farm tonight and be welcomed by all the lovely friendly people there and who are willing to help out resist eviction in the morning, could you put your hand up now? And if we've got enough, then they'll send the, uh, the mini bus down. Um, that's a few. I think we can probably do a few more. Come on, people. <laughs> so it will come to this site um, when the General Assembly is finished. So like 9.30 or 10 o'clock or whenever that is. Um, so you don't have to miss out on anything here, but you could be a massive help. And one of the things coming from their call out is they're really inspired and amazed by all the energy that is here. But they, they're aware that if, if, if 15 or 20 people came down, it would make a massive difference to them. And it probably wouldn't take that much energy away from here, given how much energy and excitement there is here, which is very apparent. Um, and if you can't, if you don't, you can't get in the minibus tonight, or, um, or um, there's, it's really easy to get a train from Liverpool Street down the roads to get up there. So um, um, you can come talk to me afterwards and I'll help you get um, details of how to do that. So I think I saw enough hands, so we get the minibus down here, and everyone's support and solidarity is much appreciated. Thank you. 